Do you know the elevator? Do you know I'm filming a video of my wedding right <laughs> guys and welcome back to my channel you're so incredibly welcome I thought for today's video I would share the 50 things that we placed on our wedding registry when we came to get married and do our wedding registry I scoured YouTube and although there was so many videos with like 50 pasta bowls, all the serving bowls, millions of chopping boards. There wasn't really any videos that told me the essentials, the essential things that I needed in order to live. <laughs> and so I wanted to create this video just in case you're the same as me. Maybe you're moving out of home for the first time and you're thinking, what do I need? For today's video, we're gonna jump into just that. Now I think for most of us when we're doing a wedding registry, a lot of those items are kitchen items. So we're gonna begin there. So Joel and I placed on our wedding registry plates, small plates, pasta bowls, bowls. <laughs> that was all the crockery we placed on. We didn't actually put on like any serving bowls, any salad bowl, any crisp bowls. We just decided that when we moved in, we would kind of figure out what we needed and then buy as we needed. Then we got a selection of five pots and pans from a company called Stellar. Really good, would highly recommend. And then I also um, placed on there like a casserole dish, like you know like a cast iron run? I'll insert a clip of it here. Um, and honestly, that was a great purchase. It is slightly more expensive, but I use it for loads of things from chili to bread to like everything under the sun, soup, make lots of soup in it. Um, and that honestly was a great purchase because it's probably something that we put on a registry that we probably wouldn't have bought ourselves because it was slightly more expensive. Then you have your standard stuff, you know, your kitchen scissors, your tin opener, and then we got like a bottle opener with a corkscrew. And we also bought utensils quickly realized that the ones that we bought weren't great, so I'll not link them down below, but we got ours then, our next set in Ikea. And the world that I love, and that is all things Tupperware, all things freezer bags. So we got um, a couple of sets of Tupperware. We got two sets of Tupperware, one glass and one plastic. Now the reason why we got that was because I really wanted glass ones, but Joel said he wouldn't eat his lunch out of glass ones because he didn't want to bring them to work and break them. <laughs> gonna feel it. Da, 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 da. Sorry. So we got two sets and then I also got these little freezer pouches and um, which are super helpful super handy you can kind of stack them in your freezer which creates more um, room in your freezer if you're creating extra meals you know that you want to put away for another time we also got some good knives we put on a really good set of knives on our wedding registry and I would highly recommend that and also a knife sharpener good handy thing to have. And we also put on some glass storage containers that you would have seen in my eight things I no longer buy them in on this video. I'll insert another clip of them here, but these are really handy. So we would put like our rice or pasta or oats and all of that stuff in there. And it looks really pretty and it's actually really functional, which is perfect for us. Then of course, because Joel loves coffee, we had to get some coffee stuff. And so we got um, a Chemex and Chemex filters. And Joel also got like a water jug with filters so that apparently coffee tastes better if you make it with filtered water. I don't know. Um, and so he uses that for our coffee in the morning. On to like the larger appliance items, we got a toaster, we got a kettle, um, a slow cooker and an active fryer. Then on the baking stuff, so I love to bake. And for you, maybe that's not a big area of your life. You might have another big area of your life that's important to put on your wedding registry. That's another thing that I would say is make your wedding registry you, what you enjoy, what you love. Really your guests will enjoy that because they'll look through it and go, oh yeah, of course. And so for us, like obviously coffee stuff, but then also baking stuff. And so I placed on there um, a sieve, two like six inch cake pans and I also got some muffin like a muffin you know like a fairy cake muffin cake tin thing you know the thing with holes in it you know what I'm trying to tell you about um and then I also got a Kenwood mixer now I for years was using my great granny's Kenwood mixer which officially died um before we got married and so my granddad actually bought us one of our own which was such a special treat so that's all the stuff that we placed on our wedding registry for that like kitchen area of your world. And now on to the really exciting place in your house and that is the bathroom. Okay, so for the bathroom, what we placed on was tiles. So we got eight like big tiles. 
body tiles. <laughs> and then we got four hand tiles. Um, and that's actually worked really well for us. Honestly, I didn't expect it to. I expected to have to run out and get some more of those, but that was the perfect number and that worked really well for us. Then something we quickly discovered that we didn't put on our wedding registry that we did need was a bath mat and a toilet brush. And what was the other thing? So like a bathroom bin. These are the things that I don't think you fully think of, um, but we decided to purchase those ourselves so that we could pick them. We didn't put them on our wedding registry. And we also placed on there pillows and a duvet. Um, I really recommend that you get a really nice duvet. Like when in your life are you going to buy a nice duvet? Final category of stuff is kind of like your cleaning stuff. You know the stuff to keep the house <laughs> like clean and tidy. And so what we placed on there is we placed on like a drying rack for clothes. In Northern Ireland, because it rains all the time, it's cold, closer drives out. Or if you have hay fever, then if I get <laughs> hay fever on my clothes, it's really bad. No, 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 is it pollen or something? Then I get really sneezy. So that's why we have an air dryer and then the final reason, you sound like Snow White's dwarf, I think it sneezes. It's so much cheaper than running the, the drying machine. That's your favourite one, isn't it? I throw the dryer around, you love to see if <laughs> That's why I use an air dryer. What's it called? <laughs> you know so you can dry your clothes inside, I'll, it's called like an air. I'll place a photo here, um, just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. And then we also got a Henry Hoover, and um, we got a mop, and we also got a little like handheld Hoover. And honestly, I thought it was a bit of a gimmick, but see now that we've bought it, it's so amazing. We use it like around the fireplace, and if um, we... Blessing in disguise. So like oats on the floor or just anything on the kitchen floor, it's just super handy, super quick, really good for your stairs, really good for around your fireplace and that's been super helpful. We also got an iron and an ironing board, which I'm not going to lie to you, hasn't been used as of yet, apart from once and that was to iron our curtains, um, but I'm sure coming into summer we'll use it a lot more when we're not just wearing jumpers all the time. And then finally we decided to put on some like miscellaneous items and this is where you get to have fun, where you get to put on things that you'll use, that you'll enjoy and that show a little bit more of your personality. So we had the bacon stuff and the coffee stuff and then we also placed on their Monopoly um, and then I also put on like a Kinto travel mug um, and a few other like little miscellaneous bits. But honestly, as a whole, we wanted to keep it really essential, really what we needed, and really the things that would enable us to live life, and then we could add to that as we needed. There were a few items that we didn't place on our wedding registry that when we moved in, we discovered that we needed. So I wanted to share those with you too. And so we realized that we hadn't placed glasses on our wedding registry. And honestly, this was because the IKEA ones were great and they're really affordable and all the ones we could find on Amazon were actually quite expensive and we didn't really see any point in asking someone to buy expensive glasses for us and we bought hangers, we bought a colander, we bought a second mixing bowl because I quickly discovered that the one in the Kenwood was really heavy and I just didn't want to use it all the time because it was a bit of a pain to wash. The final thing we bought in Ikea was cutlery. Now I don't know about you but I'm like a little bit picky about my cutlery um, and so we wanted to like feel the cutlery, feel the fork, decide if we wanted to eat with it and so that's why we went to Ikea to buy some of that stuff. So guys I hope that was super helpful. That was 45 items that we placed on our essential wedding registry. I'll have them all listed below and any of the items that we purchased I'll link below as well so you can have a little look at those. But guys I hope you have so much fun whether you're creating your own wedding registry, how exciting is that, or whether you're moving out for the first time. I would just love a little bit of insight into what we found that's been essential for when you've moved out. So guys I'll see you for another video next Thursday. Please like and subscribe this video. It really supports and helps my channel. And I'll see you again then. Bye. <laughs> Where can you move? Maybe people like what for me. Maybe you have to be. Well, that'll be what the YouTube channel is. Mm.